The Sabbath day was over, and through the gray of dawn, the women crept in silence, bewildered and forlorn, to find the borrowed grave where their Jesus had been laid, and offer love's last homage, although they were afraid. The tomb was broken open, the guard had fled away, the empty grave clothes gleamed in the rising light of day. The body had been taken, no knowing why or how. The spices and sweet ointments had lost their purpose now. A stranger told the news that as yet they could not see, the crucified is living. He walks in Galilee. Go tell his friends to follow. Speak out, be not dismayed. They ran but spoke to no one because they were afraid. By mystery of your spirit, you gave their message voice. The silence chose to speak and the grieving to rejoice. For someone on their journey, in truth, they met with you. From death and dread and silence, the word of life broke through. We fear your resurrection, mysterious Lord. To follow you will cost us more than we dare afford. But yet the gospel fires us. The price of love is paid. And we will not keep silence, though we are still afraid. Let us pray. God of the road from Palm Sunday through Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, 
and Holy Saturday, we greet you in this early morning of Easter. We bring our story to your story. We trust your promises and wait in hope. For you are the God of resurrection. You have rolled the stone away and the tomb of our world has been opened wide. With the dawn has come a new creation. Let our celebration burst forth today. Empty our tombs, renew our lives, and release your power. Through the risen Christ we pray. Amen.
How can we not sing a song that has spoken to us for generations? How can we not share in this welcome? For as we gather here across our country, we know that there are churches joining Islington United who aren't sharing or streaming their own service. And so we're grateful for the ways that we have become friends and neighbors from town to village to city. We are also so grateful that we are part of this community who doesn't think the same, vote the same, love the same, or praise the same. But we are part of sharing compassion and hope. And today we affirm that you are part of this circle of God's care. So we say happy Easter. We invite you to follow along in the bulletin and to sing your heart out, whether you're watching in your pajamas or you put on your Easter best for this day. We are grateful to be here together. For Christ is risen. He is risen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, the peace of Christ is with us, and I invite you in this moment to pass the peace to those you are sharing in service with, or to text or email, or call a friend, and pass on to them this peace of Christ that never ends. The words of peace can be a challenge for all of us to share in these next weeks of Easter. The peace of Christ be with you. Also with you. Amen. For... If it doesn't feel like Easter yet, we are reminded of the promises of God that joy comes with the dawn. Let's sing that hymn together now.
Those are words of assurance that sing into our lives at this time. And as we gather at our table filled with flowers, we are reminded of the cloud of witnesses who gathers with us. Those you are remembering at this time of year who shared with you the Easter message. Those who we are praying for and caring with in hospital and apart from each other this Easter we are living into this Easter hope in the midst of all the challenges. Babies are being born, celebrations of life are being named aloud, and funerals wait, weddings wait, gatherings wait until Easter will come where we will celebrate again. But for now, the cloud of witnesses joins us to each other and reminds us that we are part of this body of Christ, the hands and feet of love in the world. And on this day of Easter, we boldly proclaim our faith with acts of generosity. We offer up through online giving and e-transfer to the office in dropping off checks and putting them in the mail as signs of hope and new life for this ministry in Christ's name to come. For this, we have deep gratitude and give total praise. The offering will now be received. And so we offer prayers with that sound on our ears. Holy One, bless our offerings and transform them into compassion for others, into community for the lonely, and hope for the church and the world. Amen. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has done mighty things. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has done mighty things indeed. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.
As storytellers, we shape Christ's unfolding story. As passionate people, we share Christ's passion for justice. As bearers of God, we embody Christ's life in the world. Humble us today to listen to forgotten stories. Empower us with boldness when we are afraid. Resource us for the dance of resurrection. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, for there they will see me. Herein lies good news. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. We pause on this resurrection morning to give thanks for the movement of this story in our lives, to proclaim again the good news, to ask for your presence to move amongst us between the words and music that are heard. May your word be danced in that space may your light be known O Christ amen I've been praying with words of revelation in this time words of promises of hope words of a vision of new life that death will be no more, that mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. I have been wrestling with what it means to cross over from Lent to Easter, when we find ourselves still in isolation, separated and yearning to celebrate together. I have been invited into the dance of life in a new way, in our own space, with my own family. A wise one told me, if I move my body, I'll change my mind. And so I know that in our homes, small dance parties are breaking out all over the place as we try and stay in the present. I imagine that when the woman, women awoke to Saturday, when they wondered what the next day would hold, that moving their bodies was what they needed to do, not knowing what to do when they got to the tomb, but being willing to get up and go together there. They wouldn't have been social distancing. They would have clung to each other and brought what they thought was needed to care for their Lord. And they were so surprised when they got there 
It says that the ground shook, that the soldiers didn't know what to do, that they fell on the ground like dead ones. And in the midst of that, they received good news. They had to run back and tell the others. I wonder what the soundtrack would have been as they were racing to share the good news. I've been thinking about um, how that plays out when we've got something good to share these days. We text, we email, we come face to face on a Zoom call or on FaceTime. I've been watching my daughter go to camp these last couple of weeks. The Go Project has been groundbreaking and having a virtual camp that's gone from BC to Newfoundland with young ones who gather every morning at 11 to light the candle, to sing a song together, to hear a biblical story, to laugh and create. And one of my favorite moments in their hour of camp is when they take a dance break when the music crosses the country and I watch them giggling and laughing together and yet apart. There is a goodness that comes in the freedom of moving our bodies and celebration and joy of being alive. In fact, it's what's saving us in these times in my own family. When things get heated and stressed, we put on some music and enter into the dance that calls us back to the good of life. There are a few friends who are gathering on Instagram at two o'clock from their time of isolation. Chris and his husband Brad bring costume and dance party to join people across the airwaves to move their body and realize the gift of life. It's not too far from the resurrection story for us to be reminded that we are alive and in this new time that new dance steps are possible. Perhaps you've been binge watching on old movies or things that bring you joy and this week we turn to Footloose. Four teenagers from a small Midwestern town have too much boozy fun at a dance one night. They're killed in a car accident on the way home. The father of one of the boys, a preacher by trade, manages to outlaw dancing in the town in the hope of preventing such a tragedy from ever happening again. Enter Wren, the new kid in town with a long-time passion for dance and a developing passion for the preacher's daughter. Tensions mount, positions harden. And the story reaches a climax at a town council meeting where Wren cites some surprisingly pro-dance Bible passages that his girlfriend has marked down for him in her confirmation Bible. What a fun afternoon treat to look up some of those scriptures on Google. The biblical passages speak into the preacher's life. They calm him down and show him the times where dance came out of loss. Or Miriam, as her people have crossed the Red Sea to freedom, Miriam danced when the people weren't sure what to do next. And David, despite all his flaws, he danced in ecstasy around the ark, proclaiming God and being one of God's beloved. And so today, you're invited into new dance moves, into new steps of resurrection, into celebrating Easter in a new way. We, well, we're learning new dance steps just like the preacher did at the end of the movie, Footloose. It shows them toe-tapping, holding each other close, and everyone being let loose on the dance floor. God is on the loose in the midst of this Easter story in times where we feel that we are cooped up and can let fear win, we are reminded that each day we're invited to the dance of resurrection. And so I leave you with words from Anne Weems, Lord of the Dance, a retelling of the story before we sing together the song. When they ask what happened here this Easter, We'll simply say, Christ came by, and we learned 
to dance. The Lord does his dance on the temple floor, and the Pharisees are properly shocked. A madman, dangerous, unfit to guide our youth, a heretic. And they flee to the public where their praying can be seen. The Lord does his dance with the tax collector, and the Sadducees scream, Now? Now do you see who he is? He dines with sinners while we, we have all this work to do. The man's a wine-bibber. The Lord does his dance with a woman of the streets. And the church people rub their hands together gleefully. Aha, now we've got you. But they looked into them, and they crept away, unable to throw the first stone. The Lord does his dance with all the wrong people, with slaves and lepers and tax collectors, with cursing fishermen and adulterers and thieves, with outcasts and castoffs. He dances with the unclean, with the orphan, with the displaced, with the unwhole. And he won't dance with us until we become, of all things, little children. Until we admit that we are needy, we are outcasts, we are orphans, and then he says to us, come unto me, and we become the accepted unacceptable. Our brokenness is bound, and we are able to follow the dance. The music is never ending, and if we miss a step or two, or if we fall exhausted, the Lord is always there to pull us to our feet. Come now. Let's dance in the temple. Let's dance in the city. Let's dance in the sanctuary and in the streets. Let's dance in the place we find ourselves today. Let's join our hands across this country and cross our world and dance where that music leads us. For the Lord's dance is never ending and the music goes on forever.
Let us continue our prayer together. Lord of the dance, you invite us to follow you, to learn new steps, to be brave enough to stand and try. And we are each dancing in our own ways. We are living into your gift of resurrection that reminds us that death will not win and love conquers all. We pray into the places of our fear and our worry. We pray into the struggles with patience and relationships. We pray into the voids that are left in our change of routines and our patterns. We pray into each of these new types of dancing. And we watch and we learn, oh God, from each other. We're there to support and cheer on. We hold back our temptation to laugh or to judge. And we make room for your dance of life to be known. We step into learning. We step into growing. We step into faith. We pay attention to the heartbeat that has given us the rhythm since before time began. For you, O oh God, are the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the God whose promises never fail, and great is your faithfulness. We look to making new music together. We look to finding new dance moves in the rhythm of this time. And we make space, O oh God, for others to dance at their own pace, for us to hold them up when they fall. For you are the Lord of the dance, the one who spent time noticing and asking people what they needed. And you are the God of Easter, and you move us through the seasons of our lives. For those of us staying in Lent, you are there. For those of us ready to run screaming hallelujah into Easter, you are there. For those wanting to be in the movement of the Spirit and a new beginning, you are there. God, hear our prayers as we pray together the prayer, your son who loves us like a mother, and walks with us like a brother, taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to let Easter just wash over you as we receive this gift of song.
Amen. Well, if that doesn't invite you into the work of the church, the life of the world, I don't know what does. For we are assured that Christ is risen. And we live into that with our actions, sharing good news. You're even invited to share this service out with friends so that people can have a taste of Easter at home. I am so grateful for this team that rallied and made space to get ready for Easter in a time that was so full of other things. I'm grateful for the music, for the words, for the dancing, for the inspiration that will carry us into this next 50 days of Easter. I wonder where it will be in Pentecost. But for now, may the peace of Christ be with you. Let's sing together our final hymn, Christ is Alive. And before we do the last two verses of that hymn, I'm going to bless you out because they're so good that we have to do them. So, my friends, may God bless you and keep you. May the peace of Christ be the gift of Easter to each other this day. May you notice your toe tapping and your heart being called into this resurrection dance for the music goes on forever. said, and all the people said, Amen. Amen.